Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sivol Grim here and I managed to one-shot uh, Gorilla Grot in uh, Heroic 2 and uh, a lot of you are struggling with that so I'm going to present you with a strategy that's going to help you out um, in dealing with it and uh, this is going to be available for pretty much everybody that has been playing for a bit because lately you got Harley more or less for free and Ivy more or less for free and you can get yourself a Predator Batman from uh, the uh, arena store and that's usable over there since uh, Grodd is not immune to stuns and he can be stunned by anything. So, this strategy is going to revolve around using the spear. So this is not possible normal, but look, you most likely got past that already. And uh, if you're still normal, you most likely don't have hardly entangling poison ivy. And it's going to use a kryptonite spear. So, we're going to have the Kryptonite Spear, which is going to pretty much render the enemy block ability useless, which is the main problem with Grot. Now, we're going to put that on... Uh, I'm gonna have it on Arkham Knight Batman again, you can uh, use it with Predator Batman, it will be uh, literally no difference, uh, since uh, the uh, boss Grot is not sign immune. And we're going to play the normal League of Anarchy team strategy, uh, and uh, use the special 2 of... Uh, uh, Predator Batman or Arkham Knight Batman to stun and that's going to not be able to be stopped by the enemy's shield because uh, it's going to be unblockable because of the spear. Uh, of course, if you have a lower level spear you'll need a higher combo but Harper Harley Quinn has 3 fast attack hits so she builds combo crazy fast anyway and she doesn't need uh, uh, amazing combo for anything so it might be a little bit rough to get to a 40 hit combo if you got a level 40 spear but still it's possible. I think I even done it with a level 1 spear back in the day. Uh, but yeah, with all that out of the way, let's get into a few pips and eventually into the Grod one. Plus the rewards, of course. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do a little bit of Scorific Scarecrow cleanup here. And yes, do not ask why I have a level 70 gears Atlantean Armor Aquaman perfectly built on this account. It just is what it is, I regret myself, but now we have it, so we might as well use it. This at this point is more or less a combo interruption practice. Again, you can practice combo interruption in the story mode, so no need for stuff like that. Like, bro, at some point there was some person in my chat who was like, well, I'm not in a hurry to kill boss Scarecrow, that was a uh, horrific Scarecrow, that was in uh, Dawn of Apocalypse stories, because uh, I want to take more time fighting him to learn combo interruption. And he was purposefully delaying his way, bro, you got it in the story mode, don't do stuff like that. But yeah, we're going to open up with a super move. We got here two flashes to give me some fast action since I don't have any on my Aquaman. Again, you should not build your Atlantean Armor Aquaman as a damage dealer. I think that goes without saying. Uh, I mean, he should be built anyway as kind of a damage dealer, but a little bit more of a tanky one. And he's not a viable damage dealer for it, so it by any means. Uh, but yeah, I have him, and we're gonna use him. And uh, yeah, over here I got the... Um, or as Krypton Spear because I was curious how much the special tree would do on a very high combo. And uh, it's almost 2.5 million, so I'm not too mad about that one. It, it's a pretty decent amount of damage, but again, this is by no means an ideal damage dealer. Though I might at some point use him with the ideal team just out of curiosity to see how much damage he can deal. But yeah, this is it done with Scarecrow. This is kind of the continuation of the yesterday's video if you have seen it. Those bosses, uh, we uh, were left to clean them up. And now we're going to do a quick one with on Ragebane. And over here I did a little bit of a mistake because I first up wanted to see uh, if I could one-shot this dude with only one special tree of Silver Banshee. But sadly I did not uh, keep in mind the fact that I did not have enough energy. And because I didn't have enough energy I should have waited far more for that because... Yeah, look. One disable, two disables, and now I should have built a huge combo with Reverse Flash because yet again I'm trying the rod on uh, Silver Banshee, she doesn't have all blaze in there. One special two in there, yeah 4.6. I'm getting better results by the way with all blades, now that I think about that, but yeah we got three disables here. Let's try to build uh, a huge combo here, even though it will be an overkill but the damage will still show, let's see. What's the damage potential on level 5 spear? I could have done a higher combo, honestly. 7.1. Yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, that's also out of the way. And that opens up Boss Gorilla Grodd. So let's get into that. As I previously said, you don't need to have Arkham Knight Batman here. You can have any Batman that has a stun bomb. And that stun bomb is upgraded. At the start, building some combo here. Should have kept Harley in because she builds the combo far faster. But we got him in, so we might as well build the rest of it with him. Re-engaging there, special 2, he's stunned, 
Don't worry about his tag out meter. He will not tag out uh, while he's stunned. While he's stunned, he will not tag out no matter what happens. But he might tag out in the middle of your basic attacks and in the middle of your combos, even if you do it so he doesn't tag out, like with a ghost step at the end. He will still tag out, so be mindful of that. Harley back in, and as you can see, we're dealing some pretty damn high amount of damage already. Stunning him again, he tried to shield that. Unsuccessful, my dude. Unsuccessful. As you can see, he should tag out right now, but he won't because he's stunned. And the mistake that I did here, and I don't have time to correct it because I killed him anyway, it's uh, after I uh, am in the fight with Harley and he tags out, I also tag out Harley because he tags out uh, after the, st the stun duration is over. And uh, I shouldn't have really done that. A few mistakes over here, sadly. Like, uh, you'll never understand this, but uh, if you're not playing on PC, but on PC you can actually press the wrong uh, characters to tag in. But yeah, with Harley, if he uh, is ready to tag out after you have finished your damage dealing combo with Harley, stay in and kill that minion as well, because you're going to be far faster at it than Arkham Knight Batman. Arkham Knight Batman back in. Fat special 2 in there, he's not able to shield that. Ring gauge the combo, swipe right, tap your time, swipe right. Again, I did I, I did uh, the same old mistake over here. Hardly back in to kill that one. Though I guess we're keeping our old blade stacks up this way, so it's not too bad. The stun in there, hardly back in. Swipe right, tap through time, swipe right. Ring the combo. Special 2 in there. And yeah, this was not even a close one, as you can see we got a lot of time left in there. Over here, finally, on the last tagging of his, I did that and killed it with Harley because it's far faster. Uh, but yeah, if you are using this team, this should be a pretty easy fight, actually. It can be a little bit annoying because I remember trying this uh, on the previous Heroic and it gave me more trouble. I don't even think I cleaned it up in one fight, but I guess my Harley is a little bit more upgraded since then and I've learned to play the team a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, it was not uh, such a rough experience after all, he went down pretty fast, but again, I still don't think this should be the first uh, sorry boss that uh, new players are going to encounter. And here's the reward, like, bro, I was, ex I was fully expecting, I was fully expecting to get some crap over here, but can you at the very least give me some variety in the crap I get, some different crap? I got Flora Poison Ivy, it's the exact same character that I just got for defeating Superman in Heroic 2. And now you give me her again at the first big boss I defeat in Heroic 3. At the very least, give me some variety. Put an Enrage Bane in there, put a Cheetah in there, but not the same character again and again. That sucks. Also, the Amulet of Arcane. Ah, bro. This is a terrible drop. Like, I really feel I'm the most lucky, unlucky person in the world when it comes to raid drops. Let me know how you feel about that one, and let me know what you got from raid drops yourself so far in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you all in the next one, goodbye!